quick. All right, here we are live. <clears throat> all that again. All that. I thought I was live and I, I, I wasn't live. Were people commenting? Uh, you know, I didn't have anybody comment, so that's why I was like, what the world's going on? So, uh, but anyway, here's the, we got the walkway up here. We got it all textured. So I'll rerun it. And here there's gonna, they're gonna have a, uh, <clears throat> how cool that is with the uh we carve you can carve into that that's all carved and textured and look at that and then we have the pond that comes around there a nice pond and then the rocks in between it and mike is just kind of finishing the top and we bring it here this this how we did this will be on the learn Crete program so if you go to learn Crete, you get to see <clears throat> how we do what we do and it's uh, it's pretty cool. It's, it's it just shows the start to the finish. Hi Liz. Hi Johnny. And of course we did the the walkway here with Integral. What's up, Bradley? What's up, guys? You see the I'm gonna show you the the, the countertop we did with him. <clears throat> so um, all right. So this is just a typical walkway we did with uh, the stamp. Uh, 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 this is a Integral color. Now we don't edge it because we cut uh, stones into this. We cut it into flagstone. And of course, uh, over here, they're bagging, what we call bagging, they're finishing up. And to learn how to do this, this will be all explained on the, you know, everything from the plumbing to the actual, how we did the whole thing will be on the Learn Creek program. So come and join us. We had hundreds of videos and we add every single week. So let's go in the back here as well. We did, we haven't colored it yet. We did some base colors. We still gotta come around here. And uh, here you go, buddy. There's buddy. He got in my truck today. He stunk like a uh, skunk or something. And I had to write, I was late. I had to come all the way here. Thank you. Thank you, Johnny. <laughs> you can use the for your koi pond, yeah. You don't realize? Yeah, so here, this looks like a massive amount. And I'll, I'll go from the other side over here because you can really get the gist of how big these walls that we're doing here. These are all engineered walls. And uh, it's pretty crazy. The engineer didn't even... I said, we're going to stack concrete all the way up. He's like, what do you mean? We're going to stack concrete, but what do you mean? How are you going to, what do you mean you're going to stack it up? You're going to have a form? No. So we did these walls. They haven't been colored. And of course, their color looked beautiful. But we did steps here, all the way down here. And we're going to do steps the same way. So you got a wall that's going to come around here like this, all the way down here. Let me show you what we did already. <clears throat> and we'll show you down here. My Lord. And this wall goes... All the way back here, and it's all dirty because we have to color and clean it up and stuff like that. But look at the, the height, and this still has to go. This still has to go all the way up to the top here. So you got a total of about up to where Buddy's at, almost 17 feet tall. <clears throat> and so I'm gonna go back up over here, and uh, of course we'll color this, and it'll look as natural as anything. We got steps going up this thing, and of course the wall goes on down around. Here like this, so you got a wall there, <clears throat> and then you have uh, a patio here. This dirt level will come up here. The wall will come up another four feet around here, tying into that. So we'll tie a rebar into that and bring it all the way around. Pond comes back here, fills up this, goes underneath that rock, goes to there, and then goes out the big part. Bradley's son did this top. Look how pretty this is. His tops are just insane. We were on Learn Crete last week and we taught people how to do this. There's another wall there, down here, and then there's the big waterfall. This big waterfall comes off of here, big spills into this pond, <clears throat> and down into here, underneath there, comes around over here, and it'll spill out over here. This wall here will go up that high to the rock around here like that, and then around. And then of course, she wanted to, we'd, we did this patio in here, and a lot of concrete, we're talking hundreds of yards. <clears throat> but over here, they wanna put this pad into here, so we gotta fill this in with some good soil and bring that in there. And of course, over here, you see over here, how low, how high these walls are. All the extra concrete we got there, kind of dirty stuff, but it's real clean, but. All this fell in there. We got to clean all that off and color it and stuff. But look how high that is. If you get over there, you probably right there is about 15 feet. So these walls are massive and they're at the base. I think we're six feet wide on the base. So they're not going anywhere. These big walls all over the place. So there's just concrete every 
square here and it really doesn't start looking anything until you put all the greenery and the landscaper comes in and does his thing. <clears throat> We've got the pump hooks up there, recirculates this water to the top, comes all the way up here and up here you got a pergola going over the top of this thing and it's a party. There's our stone rock, our cliff rock product. I think here's this is G2, we use G3 also. So there's that product there. That is our own personal product that we that we sell and use. Look how nice that came out. Wow, that came out so nice. So that uh, Cowdy Grills I'm gonna go in over there. And uh, we got maybe two more days on the whole thing. Once we start coloring everything, it really, it really comes together and goes very quickly. All right. Anyway, thought we'd show you what we're doing. Got to get back to that job. We ran short about three yards of, uh, of mix of uh, concrete, so we had a tail. So supposedly that's coming. The only problem with that is like, we have a certain amount, you know, integral color. And so with the other integral color, it's hard to get it exactly, but I think we'll match it pretty good. So that's kind of what we're doing. There you go, I'll show you. Then we did another wall over there. That, this is not being colored, but look how pretty that looks. Here's the rest of the concrete coming now. We'll finish off this walkway and that'll be the day. So it doesn't seem like a lot, but it's very decorative. And that's what takes much, uh, takes a lot longer to do, especially when you're dealing with the pond, the thickness. This wall here is what, 10 inches to a foot thick. And then at the bottom, we have a hole. So at the bottom, it's at least eight inches to 10 inches thick. So the pond, I mean, if it, if it moves, it's, the whole thing's gonna move. You know, so it's very good, very nice. Good job, guys. There's the crew, there's Mike, and there's the, there's the crew. These are the guys that uh, actually go all over the country showing everybody how we do what we do, we right? Do we They're do. humble. Normally we don't just sit around. Normally. Buddy, see, are you walking on the concrete? No, he's a concrete guy, he don't usually walk on the concrete. But it's all set up, so he thinks it's okay. All right, Facebook Live, I'll catch you on the next one. See ya, God bless you.